Welcome back to the show. Frankie here was found hobbling down the street with a broken leg and a shattered pelvis and was brought to the Arizona Humane Society Second Chance Animal Trauma Hospital. His leg was too badly broken to repair and had to be amputated. And now this adorable dachshund is in need of a few weeks of rest in a foster home. And Ski can tell us the care that Frankie will need. And if someone ends up falling in love, perhaps they'll even adopt Frankie. Ski? Yes, Frankie here is going to need about three weeks of cage rest. So what that means is you're going to want to keep him in his crate, only take him out for potty breaks, with you on the couch, not allowed to jump down. He'd have to be carried from place to place. And they really want that leg, that pelvis to heal, just as we would if we had a broken leg. We can't put any pressure on it. Once the vets release him to some activity, he would get a light rehabilitation to strengthen that leg and that pelvis and start to be able to walk more and run and just enjoy life as a regular dog. Now, tripod dogs are just amazing animals. They really, you don't even know that there's a leg missing. They don't know there's a leg missing. He's about a full-size standard Dotson mix, and he's super lovable. He loves hot dogs, which is ironic because he, well, he doesn't want any on camera now, but, um, so, but, you know, being a foster hero really expands the walls of the shelter. It's going to get him in a loving home, and then it's also going to make room for another animal that the AMTs bring in to make sure that they have the space in the shelter. And with our Foster to Adopt program, if you fall in love with him, you get first right of refusal on whether Frankie is going to become your forever pet. And fostering has never been easier because you can take the orientation right online now. So you can go to www.azhumane.org forward slash foster for more information on Frankie. This is the weekly fluff clan, and these three kitties are also in need of a foster home. They're only seven weeks old, so they need to be eight to nine weeks old in order to be spayed, neutered, and go out for adoption. You can volunteer to foster this litter or, of course, Frankie the Dachshund by visiting azhumane.org. And right now we have over 600 pets in foster homes, which is amazing. That's like an entirely another shelter. Now here is Talia. She was rescued from an empty dirt backyard, and this is what she did the first time that she discovered grass, rolled around and had the absolute best time at our shelter. Here she is today looking for a home. Perry, you've spent a lot of time with her. Tell us about this gorgeous chow shepherd. I'll just use the word happy because that is what this gal is. She just always has the greatest demeanor. She, she just wags her tail all day long and just to be kind of content with the life she has right now, you know, but we know it can get better and then she's even going to be a better and a more happier girl there. You know, she's a staff favorite. We bring her in the back of our adoptions area and she does the same thing every time we bring her back there. She sits in a room, she lays on a big cushy bed. As soon as somebody walks into the bed, she comes over, wags her tail and goes and lays them back down in the bed again. She does that all day long. She loves it. She is a gorgeous little child, makes great long hair. Come on down and check out the really pretty happy Talia. Well, we wrap up the show with these three cuties. Lisa, tell us about these brothers. This is Dean. I have Sammy, who is obviously the adventurous one. And over here, we have Joe, the brown tabby. All three benefited from our foster heroes. They were too young to go up for adoption when they first came in. So their foster family took them home. So we know that they're socialized with kids, dogs, and other kitties. So this is just a beautiful sampling of the many kittens we have available right now at our shelter. All right, well, for more information about the pets on today's show, visit azhumane.org forward slash pets on parade or call the number right there on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with more adoptable pets.